Hello everyone, it's Krebs here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of War Thunder. By the time you're watching this, I am probably going to be down in Nottingham on my holiday to celebrate my birthday, so this is a pre-recorded video that I'm doing for you guys. And what I'm going to be doing is jumping on into a random match, so the plane that I'm, planes that I'm going to be using today are ones I haven't shown on the channel yet. So that's going to include some higher tier American ones, including such as, uh, let's, let's see, which one should we start off with? Well, we'll start off the Mustang, why not? You guys have seen this in the last video, the uh, P-51D Mustang. I'm also going to be featuring the XP-38G, which is a premium plane. Mind you, there's also a standard one, the P-38G over here, uh, that I'm not actually equipping out onto my loadout. And it's uh, <laughs> the reason why I'm not equipping it is because I don't, I'm not the most fondest of the plane, okay? I find it a little bit cumbersome playing it, a little bit sluggish. Uh, so I've got my premium one loaded out, but not this one. I think you have to use B and Z tactics to make it successful, probably fly it like a bow fighter. But then again, it's kind of underpowered if you want to consider it like a bow fighter. Look, look at its machine guns and cannons. It doesn't really have that much to work with. So, uh, funny plane. We'll try out the premium one, but I'm not flying out with the standard one. Apart from that, we're also going to be trying the, uh, the end model Corsair, which has... 4 AN-M2 cannons, 20 millimeters. See, that's four of them, whereas this XP only has a single one. So big difference, right? Uh, there's also the, going to be the King Cobras here, as you can see. Uh, they have the 37 millimeter M10 cannon. M10, where is the other era Cobra? That has the M4, okay? Uh, we've got plenty of big cannons to work with. We've also got the Spitfire Mark 9, which is a premium plane, has... The uh, 220mm Hispano cannons and also some small machine guns attached to it as well. Great turn time as you can see on it. Also flying out with some German planes. Oh god, we're flying out with just about every single single plane in the uh, European theater. For, <laughs> for god's sake. So many. I, I could just keep on talking about all these planes. Hello. Hello. Have you made the tutorial? What tutorial? That's so ambiguous. Alright, let's jump on into a game. It's about... Uh, 10... 30 on Wednesday that I'm making this at the moment, so it's quite early in the morning. There's not that many people playing. 15,000, not too bad, but uh, hopefully it won't take too long to find a game. 23 seconds to go ahead and do that, but look, is it going to be more? Yes, it's going up more. It's just an average waiting time, that's all it is. I remember uh, when I was doing this, uh, what's it called? Warrior stream with Origin. He was doing that gold e Golden Eagles giveaway. It was like, in order for people to get in, he would try to match up people at the same time to come into the room at the same time, right? And when we were playing all together, I was playing with Origin. We'd jump on into a room, say it was like reserve planes, there'd be like something like this, you know, not too many people. And then we'd jump on into a room, he would say, okay, everyone join now, and literally he'd jump on up to like 200 people in the queues. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous, but it's pretty cool at the same time. I don't know what this guy means by tutorial. I actually need to make a another tutorial for like you know dogfighting maneuvers because I've done the high yo-yo and the lag maneuver, but I haven't done any more from that. You guys wanted me to do some like defensive maneuvers and such, and I will do it. Don't worry, I will do it. I'm just taking my time at the moment. I've got so much going on in my life right now. You know, job-wise, getting a job, going to be having to move somewhere in three months, even less than that. Uh, going to be graduating from university. You know, so got a lot of stuff going on. For God's sake. If you've actually stayed this far into the video, uh, I would like to congratulate you. I bet you anything, the majority of people have probably skipped through the video by now. Because they can't be bothered waiting in the queue. But still, you're, you're here because you're such great fans. You're, uh... You're such great fans, you want to listen to everything that Krebs has to say. So good on you, high five to you guys. This guy is talking to me in Polish, he's saying... Oh god, here comes my broken Polish. Uh, he's saying everything the best, I think. Something like that. So, everything the best. God damn it, why is it taking so long to find a game? Seriously. Um... I think what I'll do is I'll probably cut this part out. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got a match on Gorge. It's Ground Strike. 
finally freaking got a match. It took so long. And so like a nighttime one. See, it's a half half empty or half full room, whatever you want to consider it to be. And it's going to be sort of nightish. It's not perfectly night, but you can tell that it's like quite early night, if anything. Uh, so we're playing on Gorge. All right, I'll head along the left-hand side. I've got 1,000 bombs attached. 1,000 pound bombs. Yeah, 1,000 bombs attached to my plane. Why not? I've got 1,000 pound bombs attached. I'm going to just dive down a little bit, take out some of their targets. Uh, looks like one of their teammates already crashed, an HE-51. I'm still sort of learning these higher tiers at this point. Um, because there's a lot of planes I still haven't really seen before. I'm not used to them. BF-109, Hurricane, I've seen those before, but, you know, a lot of these, like, Fokker Wolves and stuff like that. Okay, I'll go for this Hurricane now that my teammate has got the other one. I'm going way fast here. I'm using my default ammo on my Mustang. Still don't have... Surface unit, okay. Got a little bit confused there. I was thinking maybe I destroyed the plane or something, but no. It's just surface unit there. What is this hurricane doing? Why is he still flying in the straight line? Is he that desperate to destroy uh, ground targets? I guess he is. Come on, Krebs, fix that aim. I'm having a little bit of trouble actually seeing it. Whoa! He just exploded. <laughs> I think I must have critical him massively there. He just insta exploded. Wow. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, <laughs> it was a bit hard to see him in the night, because it's, uh, you can see the tracer, but, or not the tracer, but the, uh, marker where you're supposed to aim, but still kind of hard to see his fuselage, his actual body, because it's so dark. Why didn't they put, like, lights on planes? You know, so you could actually, like, see in front of you? Let's go into cockpit view. Does that make it easier? No, it makes it a lot harder. I don't know. Uh, some of you asked me, why don't you play historical battles, and I do play them occasionally, but to be honest with you guys, it's not a matter of, oh, historic battles is much better because it brings out your skill and it's only newbies that play arcade battle, not at all. I actually prefer arcade battles over historic battles because it's a lot more fast paced, um, you're getting kills a lot quicker and generally I find it more more fun when it's like that. Incredible, um, incredible engine power on this plane. Look how it can climb all the way to when it has only like 120 uh, kilometers an hour before it starts stalling. G5N all the way up there. Uh, I'm going to keep on going for this G5N because I don't think anyone's going to be going for him. I want to shoot him down out of the sky as soon as possible. Look how high he is. God damn it. So annoying when people do this crap. Why is it BF-109? 10 kilometers over there. Wow. Uh, what else do we have? We have that Yak 9T below me. I'm stalling a little bit here. Ugh. G5. G5N, what is wrong with you? It's so annoying when people do stuff like this. I think he's actually trying to, like, go to, uh, bomb our base. Oh, you know what, guys? Screw it. I am just gonna go for this Yak 9T. It's gonna take far too long to get up there. Um, I'll let, if I, if, if I respawn, if I die and I respawn, okay, then I'll go, uh, for that G5N. So annoying when people do stuff like that. I mean, it's valid, whatever, but I'm allowed to complain, okay? My videos! <laughs> Plus I pay for the game. I'm allowed to complain. Die, bullfighter. I noticed that there's some lower tier planes in here. I don't know if it's uh, meant to be like that. Maybe it's just like the matchmaking or something. Or some people are just flying out with lower tier planes rather than their higher tier ones. But, okay. Critically, I'm like mad here. There we go. That's his tail coming right off. Got bombs again. Hello, Spitfire. Okay, time to drop my bombs. Ooh, I was worried he might be coming for me. I dropped my bombs because I was just getting it ready in anticipation for actually dogfighting this Spitfire here. So I'm hitting him multiple times. Die. Don't want to overshoot him because a lot of times it actually is quite easy to do in P-51. Don't know why Spitfire isn't trying to, like, outturn me because he could easily do that if he wanted to. Wow. Something flew at me. I think that was a Yak-9T. Just sounded quite 
is typical of a Yak-90. Okay, time to turn. Time to turn, bitches, because we've got that Yak-90 right there. Ooh. Woo! Here we go, guys. Get these combat flops on. Wow, I'm surprised the Yak-90 missed me. Oh my gosh. Should have been able to tear me up. If anything. Well, I think I just set him on fire. Yeah, I set him massively on fire there. Like, you can hear... That's a that's a proper fire because you can hear all his parts coming up to pieces right now. You can hear the multiple explosions and such. Yeah. That was a proper fire on him. That wasn't just some incendiary rounds or anything. Let's get into the heat of it. I'm surprised I haven't died from that Yak-90. Wow. Usually a lot of times, like, a Yak-90 comes for you, you're, you're dead. Okay, LA-5. Be careful, Krebs. Let's get on top of him. Uh-oh, but now we've got a second person coming on in as well. Great, it's fantastic. Makes my life a lot harder now. Okay, what else have we got? We've got that King Cobra, he's been shot down. I think he was coming for me. Didn't really sound too typical of a King Cobra, if you ask me personally. Anyway, go for this Mustang. Just because I can. Need to finish him off soon because I have a feeling I'm gonna get tailed here soon. He's properly flaming now. Yeah, you can see, you can hear those multiple explosions and such. There we go. Now let's go back into the heat of the battle. We have an I-16, which is gone. That's good. That was going to be a pain in the ass. What the hell? <laughs> it's like alternating between alive, dead, alive, dead. BF-109 up there. Okay, so we got NK N1K. Okay, I've never seen that one before. See, I'm still learning. Oh, shit, I didn't even pay attention. No. So busy with uh, looking at the battlefield. Die, bitch. My engine's gone, by the way. I suppose on the bright side, at least it's gone, so now that I can jump into another plane. Damn it, that was my fault. That really was my fault. Let's go on the XP38G, because we haven't seen that one before. And I haven't flown out in it in ages now. Such a strange plane. I'm gonna have to do a proper review on this one, because look how strange it is. Yeah, this N1K, this guy, I think he was the same one as the uh, G5N. He's been bombing our airfield, and that's what he's been trying to do, just win by an airfield uh, destruction. What a bastard. I think it was just him by himself. He did a pretty good job taking it down to half health. Okay, but we're winning in terms of ground targets right now. B-25, BF-109... Okay, I guess we're gonna go for the BF-109. Die. Wow. My fuselage was absolutely torn to pieces here. Not my wings, luckily, it's just the middle of my body. I guess that's not the important part. Uh, shit. And the yak behind me, oh god's sake. Probably not the best representation of this plane. Uh, I really do hate this plane. <laughs> I really do hate it. Maybe I'm playing it wrong or something. Maybe you guys can tell me. Um, but it's such a... Look how slow your shit is. What role, what capacity is it supposed to fill? I don't, I don't really get it. Look at this. Come on, King Cobra. Oh man, such wide circles. I'm flying here. At least I got him on the cross. Wow. Knocked that pilot right unconscious there. Come on, Krebs. I really want to die. I don't want to use this plane anymore. Uh, Fokker Wolf over there. But seriously, what, what capacity are you meant to use this plane in? Oh my gosh, somebody on my team's got seven kills. No, he's got more kills than I do. I need to beat him. Got two more points than he does. Wow. Fantastic. He's flying out in that Fokker Wolf or the BF 
109G6. See, I'm still not used to those ones. I haven't really seen them a whole lot. I don't even have them unlocked for my Germans yet. Okay, we got Fokker Wolf down here. Let's go for him. All I do is I just turn on my side as soon as I need to turn because I know that this thing normally isn't able to turn. Quite powerful cannon. That's just a single. That's a single uh, cannon that has on it. God damn it. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's gonna crash into the mountain if I didn't pull off. King Cobra and Mustang behind me. My ailerons are gone. So I'm permanently flying upside down. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of a useless boat right now. So I'm just gonna jump on out of that. Keep my pilots alive, why not? What, what plane should we go out in next? Let's go on the Spitfire because I haven't actually tried this one. Uh, yet. I actually just bought it yesterday. The premium one. This one. So let's go ahead and give it a shout. Give it a try. I think I'm tied with that BF-109. Yeah, I am. I've just got more points than him because I've got two ground target kills. The ones I got from my Mustang initially. Hmm. What's his name? Von... Von Walthofen. Wow. He's all the way over there. I think he's just defending or something. It looks like it. Okay, so P-63... Let's see if we can take him out. He's in the uh, ravine with uh, an ally tailing behind him. Who's gonna win? P63 or Spitfire? My guesses would be a Spitfire. Let's take out the King Cobra. Oh, what a kill steal, Krebs! What a kill steal! I agree. What an absolute kill steal that was. If I was the uh, the Spitfire over there, I'd be like, oh, for God's sake, I'd probably shoot myself down. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. Here we go. We got TU2 right on up in the sky. We got a pillbox over there. I'll just drop my bomb on top of it. Probably have better luck taking out that AA, but it's too far away. I can't be bothered. There we go. Just drop my bomb. Maybe a decent damage. TU2 right on up there. We've got JU88. A6 M5 as well. TU2 is going to be an absolute pain in the ass to take out at this point in the game because he's so high on up. I think I must have missed that pillbox. Actually, looks like it, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, god damn it, that Von Wolfholfen, whatever guy. Getting more kills. Bastard. P39Ns over there. And some other BF109s over here. Where's that Von Wolfhofen guy gone? Ugh! <laughs> Stop flying away! <laughs> Stop killing all the targets. I wanna get some more kills. There he goes. That's the Von. Goddamn Von guy. He's my competition. It's not even the enemies right now. It's this Vaughn. And ah, uh, F4U. Run. Run, F4U. No. Don't let Vaughn get the kill. It's mine. It's mine. Yes. <laughs> and I get to fight your rescuer as well. Nice. That's right, Vaughn. It's my kill. Right, so <laughs> what should we do now? Uh, somebody's out in HE11. I'm just gonna climb. Ah, oh, man. Look at that. TU2 right on up so high in the sky. It's almost untouchable in a way, isn't it? Alright, that Vaughn's, that's Vaughn's well into it. He wants to get right deep on in. I'm gonna go for this Moses, Moses Han. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's gonna be coming on top of me. Or below me, rather. I'm gonna come on top of him. Oh, I think I knocked off something on him. 
Come on, bitch! Come on! Stop resisting! Come on, Krebs, you can snipe him, I'm sure you can. I'm catching up to him slowly. No! Vaughn! Piss off, Vaughn, bitch! No! <laughs> oh man, he got the last kill. God damn it! Ah, oh, Vaughn, bitch. <laughs> he got more kills than me then, in the end. Damn, he just snuck it out of my hands. Oh well, it's just because I ran out of my cannons there. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We didn't get to show off every single plane, but that's life. I'll do a proper uh, video on all of them in the future. Maybe I'll learn what the XP is like, but please do let me know what this plane is meant to be used in. Is it too high for its... Is it in too high of a tier? I don't know. Yeah, you tell me, guys. Anyway, until next time, I will catch you all later. Right, so here we go. Three, two, one.